All right, what are we doing on the camper trailer? Okay, all the electrics is coming out, um, including this inverter. We're making some huge changes. We're putting new batteries in. Yeah, um, I've decided to go with uh, LiPo batteries or lithium ion batteries for the camper trailer, mainly because of the weight. Uh, we've got a really huge trip planned for next winter. When it's winter down here, we're gonna go up north. So we're putting in two new lithium uh, batteries in here. I'm gonna redo the wiring. We're putting a larger inverter. We got one of the fridges out already because I had some measurements to do uh, to order my batteries. Uh, I'm only putting in a two uh, kilowatt inverter so that the, the inverter matches the batteries. All right, so there it is. Have a look and have your last look at it. It's gonna change. <coughs> now the batteries have a complete battery management system already built into them which is great. The maximum draw is 80 amps. Um, the capacity is 100 amp hour and at 100% discharge, uh, these batteries have a 2000 cycle life. Here's my charging perimeters. 14.8 volt volt charge, float at 13.8, charge current 30 amps, termination 5 amps. Okay, so we've got 150 amp sacrificial fuse going there, 280 amp fuses here, one for each battery and there's the fuse casings there which I had down the shed I've used them several times on different jobs from all the research I did and trust me I did a lot of research before I'm, I'm parting with any of my uh, money I did a lot of research oh, by the way uh, Solar King have not sponsored this uh, me or my channel in any way whatsoever there's the battery brand the uh, part number I'm using the model and I this is not sponsored I have I had no discounts. Um, when I say I've done my research, I've done my research, well and truly. All right, I've rattled on enough, and that's basically all, all I'm going to do today is just empty empty all this section of the trailer here to take the inverter out. These heavy wires that come to this this side, these two watt wires, these are coming out. I've got to run uh, some other wires over here to power all that, um, but that won't be today. Um, that's the time. That's the current temperature. It's cooling down now. It was over 40 today, 38 in the shade. All right, one of my batteries arrived. There we go. Now these have got 100 usable amp hours in them. There's the watt hours there. And when they get down to, these have got a very good um, battery management system built in. And uh, as soon as the battery hits 10 volts, it shuts off. Um, so I'd say they've probably got a bit more than 100 amp, it's, it's a bit more than 100 amp hour battery. It's a little bit bigger than the 100 amp hour batteries I took out, the AGMs. I don't know what the total size is inside, but there's 100 usable amp hours, okay? There's one. All right, there we go. You can see I put a bit of board down the bottom. That's um, lightly, lightly glued in so it doesn't shift. And those two bits of board at the side, they're just to give me some air, air spacing. And this bit of wood here, you can see I've, I've routed an edge on it. That we're going to run a hard wire to a double power point down near the kitchen. Because this is a uh, trailer, same as a caravan, everything's got to be double pole in it. All right, so what we're gonna end up with is the DC is gonna be on that back panel across there, and the AC is gonna be on this front panel. The inverter will be behind on the back of, back of this panel behind there. The wires will all run back behind there. All right, so there's a bit of an update for you. So these have got 100 amp, usable amp hours in them, but I think they're a bit bigger and they've got, they automatically shut off at 10 volts. Other lithium batteries out there, they're a bit cheaper than these. Um, if they, you know, they say 100 amp hour, and that's their total capacity. And when they're flat, they're flat, and you'll really damage a lithium ion battery if you run it dead flat, shorten its life, if not destroy it altogether. Okay. And I listen. I listen to the people that, that should know what they're talking about. Hopefully, I'm going to uh, bake up some leads and get done what I can get done. And uh, hopefully, the other battery will be in a bar. Here it is, Friday. The other battery turned up yesterday i'll put the batteries in the back so i've had the batteries in the back charging off the dc to dc charger in the car and now i've got them charging off a solar panel on the ground i drop them down through the top and they go in there and then i've got this high density foam that goes in there to stop any vibration and it while i'm working on the other okay we got it out in the afternoon sun what's the time love two o'clock so i've got all the batteries and everything in let's go around the other side real quick 
and you can see I've just put two wires down to the battery fuses because uh, I haven't got the three-way switch but you can see how nice and neat that all is down there the grunt, rubber, uh, the grunt strap and the rubber matting there's no exposed bits that's pretty good okay so the batteries are at 13.73 we got 19 amps going in that's about a 320 watt panel and remember early on in the video these batteries went for a drive uh, and they sat on a solar panel while I was prepping all this so we tested all the, all the wiring everything's working we found one leak in the water pump uh, which we've hopefully fixed um, it was in one of the fittings at the panel here well there's the uh, BMV and the panel says we're getting 13.7 uh, the BMV says we're getting 13.723 so both these, these these are both pretty accurate I don't know what the uh, tents are but um, they're both pretty accurate I've been sitting here hopping up going in checking temperatures um, I've got no hot spots or anything else in there and of course I can't ring my mate and tell him to come down and wire it because I haven't got the inverter or the double pole power point I ordered so yeah that's all I can do these batteries should be fully charged we're gonna leave it in the Sun again tomorrow and um, really really make sure they're fully charged and then I'll disconnect the two jumper wires I've got in there um, in lieu of the three-way switch and uh, then it can be put away until all my other gear arrives have one last look at the batteries because um, once I put the fridge and freezer back in here Oh, you can see I've got that foam in there now. See that? That's all nice. It just helps with the deal with the uh, vibrations and that you get with the trailers on the dirt roads. All right, gorgeous day, 32 degrees currently. Keep safe, everybody. We were sitting inside and a delivery van pulled up in the driveway. It's Saturday over here. And guess what was in it? The second battery's back. 112 100. 112 100. It's got a SKU 6451P, SKU 6451. Okay, this is a newer, this one's fresh. This is a brand spanking one because it's got the P after the number. So there we go. All mounted in. The wiring's all done. All right, so I've only just put it in. Uh, we've got this on position one. So just for tonight or today, I've got the trickle charger on it a four amp or something it's a tiny little thing and it's just plugged into the splitter there so it's plugged into the car so the solar panel on the car can help and it's plugged into the trailer right now it's only doing 1.1 amps and that's about that's about it like i say there's no sun and the time is almost 3 p.m so tomorrow hopefully we've got some sun i'll drive it out into the sun and fully charge that battery um, and then I'll switch it to position one, fully charge that battery. We might even get some, some testing done with the, uh, with the new cooker. That would be good. Um, induction cooking in a trailer off lithium batteries, two lithium batteries, two solar king batteries. Good morning. All right, we got in the sun. I'm just hoping I don't get any rain before I finish this quick test. I haven't got the fridge and freezers in yet. I got this here, stainless steel cooker. It hasn't got a flat bottom on it. It is magnetic, so it should work. Okay. I don't know if you can see that water in there, but that's full. What I do is I come over here and we turn the inverter on. All right, yeah, it's got a child lock on, so we'll take the child lock off. One, two, three. We've got to put this on. Then we go to seven, two, three, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that should be 1500 watts. Let's uh, have a look what the BMV 702 is doing. So what this is measuring is what's coming out of the battery. Um, and you've got to add on top of that. We're currently taking out 105 amps from the battery plus whatever the solar panels are giving us. I don't know if you can hear that now. That is really getting hot in there it's almost boiled that's a lot of water eh well that kettle works quite good i didn't think it would because it hasn't got a flat bottom i actually have ordered another one that also holds around two liters yes that's reached a rolling boil in there now see that okay so we'll take that off 
Um, that took a total of um, 17 amp hours out of the battery. So you've got a 200 amp hour battery. I've just taken 16 amp hours out, boiling two to two and a half litres of water. I don't know, it should be on the bottom there somewhere, I don't know. And it works. It all works, so you could... I mean, you, you wouldn't boil that much just for a cuppa. This was just for a test, but it didn't take long. There's the timer. And I wasn't even on full. I was only on um, 1500 watt setting. So I was only on position seven, which is the 1500 watt setting. Yeah, all right, I'm happy with that. All right, we'll just let it cool down, let the batteries charge back up again, and I'll put it away. I'm gonna call that test very successful very very successful i think that's successful i think i can put the trailer back together again i think i can put the fridge and freezers and everything in we'll see okay that's it hope you enjoyed that little video um i know the more technically technically mind us of us of us will but uh yeah as long as you're getting sunshine with two 100 amp hour lithium batteries i think you could live LPG free, um, why camping? Alright, keep safe everyone, bye for now.